But if you look at it from far away, you close one eye and squint with the other, it kind of looks okay. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this evening, we're going to probably finish out the uh, tallite housing, as in like the burn through. Kind of try to shape that a little bit better and uh, get it halfway looking decent. We'll throw some paint on it, just keep it from flash rusting. And that may be all I do out here. Uh, reason being, we just got back from uh, our little vacation we, we took. I don't think I told you this, but we went to uh, Great Wolf Lodge in uh, Grapevine. Had a good time, kids had a blast. Just nice to get away for a little bit. Anyways, ate some good food. I got to spend some good time with family. I kind of looked around for, on body shops in my area and there's a, a few that do restoration out of the city. Which the city is Oklahoma City. That's the closest city to me. There's Tulsa, which is uh, a little bit further north east. I like to keep it kind of close so I can check in every now and then. Nothing new on that front. We're gonna keep going with the uh, back quarter or back tailite housing, get that finished. And then uh, pretty sure that we'll probably end up going back to the driver's side door and uh, working our way from the back to the front. Since we know nothing in the back part, I, I didn't touch anything as in removing metal and putting new metal in. That should be a good starting point point for gapping the door forward towards the pillar and then moving the pillar where we need it to in relation to everything else. And with that being said, uh, I may order new uh, rear door pillar pieces because I don't think, uh, I'm not sure if they're right now or not since I cut them and re-welded them. Since uh, looking at Robert's video, the uh, NOS part, like I said before, has about the same gap I had in mine. So may that may need to bend back slightly in order to get everything to fit right. Maybe. We may just order new ones and to see how they fit compared to the ones that I fixed. That being said, let's uh, go here, get this done. I gotta hit, head in and tuck the kiddos in. They're wore out after that trip. <sighs> I'll get this hold up and hopefully paint it today and uh, work on the door gap next time, I guess. Oh, you know, it's kind of, I wanna say storming outside, but it's uh, a light rain. So it's nice in here right now. That's one reason I was wanting to get in here and kind of get this done while it's kind of cool. But uh, anyways, let's get out here and get to work. Basically all I'm trying to do today is get this while I burn through fill, filled in. And uh, maybe try to knock this little dent back out. Might be able to get it from the back side. Uh, kind of giving up on this crease for now and kind of try to shape this a little bit make it less noticeable we'll go ahead and sand all this back and up here as good as we can and paint this whole thing i think that bolt's stuck in there that one's broke off in there anyways paint this whole thing with that uh green color anyways let's get to welding this side up right quick
All right. Got some paint on it. Looks pretty bad right now. That's because the paint's shiny. Hopefully that will kind of dull out and uh, no, it looks bad. But there's no Bondo anymore and kind of kind of fixed this crease up. But of course, you know, there's a hole there I didn't get and hole there and hole there that has, well, it does have Bondo in it still. You can see a little bit of pieces in it. But, uh, I just wanted to get some paint on it. I didn't forget to try to hammer that out. Uh, that's all I want to do with this for now. I just want to see if I could get a new piece of metal in there. Make it look halfway okay. From about right here over. Not so bad. Just this right here. Pretty bad. I just touched my paint. I think that's all we're gonna get to today. At least I got this painted. Everything is should be somewhat painted other set other than the underneath the wheels and the underneath of the Bronco. It's still not painted, but I'm gonna have to go over it with this type of self itching primer because this color is just a little bit different than that. So I get some more of that double color and just spurts over that. Make it look like it's uh, same color but if you look at it from far away you close one eye and squint with the other it kind of looks okay just don't get up close well I think that'll do it for me tonight got it where I kind of want it but I want it to look better so I mean it's at a point where I'm okay with it for now but not on the finished Bronco, of course. Uh, probably have to do something different. I don't know if you could tell. I got a spot in my lens now where a piece of weld is right on there again. But uh, we'll go with this for now and see. Hopefully, it doesn't make a little bubble somewhere up in here. But anyways, uh, this week I'm gonna get on the phone, talk to some people about body work, and uh, finish it up and. Possibly fixing some of the stuff that I fixed. Uh, see how much that costs and see what we can do about it. Uh, but like I said, if nothing works out, then we'll continue on. Like Friday, we're going to come back over to the door and try to fit it. So put the door up there and mess with the pillar. Probably going to take the back of the pillar off so that... I don't know if that front needs to move back because with the old back of the pillar there's that gap and it kind of makes it want to roll up to the top and back some so I don't know if that's what I'm missing now to get the doors fit right uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to order new back size of those door pillars and get those in as soon as possible and we can compare but uh until then we'll just keep on uh fitting stuff and plugging stuff and hopefully not mess the bronco up too bad so if you like this kind of stuff please stick around uh post every monday wednesday friday i'm gonna be with the bronco until we get it body off and we'll, we'll still be on the bronco but uh if we get burning on this we'll move to international again and mess with it some but right now i'm I want to get the Bronco looking better and further along than it is now. Uh, anyways, thank you made this far for watching, and I'll see you next time.